All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can give out free vasectomies and see how long it takes for the entire population of the world to become extinct. It's Power and Revolution. Less unwanted pregnancies, damn it. I have crafted a situation in Power and Revolution where the entire population of the world is completely sterile. I've also removed healthcare and medicine because honestly, why not? And thus we will get the opportunity to see who exactly is the most stubborn country in the entire world. I also renamed the United States to hell because I wasn't sure if it would let me do it and <laughs> totally let me do it. I'm gonna let the United States die on its own though. We're gonna be Malaysia. All Always use protection. I guess unless you live in this world, then it really doesn't matter. Governing is like stretching the sperms of power until they break. I'm also kind of curious. I wonder if the entire world is going to end up being dicks to one another because no one can have any births. The world's population right now is 7.649 billion people which is kind of interesting because this is where it started so we already lost a couple i'd like to take the opportunity to mention this just came up in my feed apparently canada and hell are currently going at it which is weird because it's not like there's not enough territory for everyone the population's only gonna go down over in the united kingdom there's major nuclear disasters god i thought it'd be kind of hard waiting for everyone to grow old and die but honestly the world's gonna end up ending on its own tuesday the 8th French president officially summons all of the Canadian allies to join forces and start a war against hell. That's right, Canada will not go quietly into the night. Hopefully no one cares about Malaysia so I can just sit over here and not really do too much and watch the entire world burn. Somehow there's still a ton of famine. I think it's because the population isn't all dead yet. When there's about half as many people on earth, I figure everyone will have something to eat. What the hell news is this? Oh. I'm really happy to see that the entire world is taking the fact that they can't have children anymore so well. Carbon tax. Let's save the world. I hate to tell you, sir, but you're not going to be saving this world. Uh, apparently China is fighting Russia. On the plus side, there's a brand new sports drink that's said to do absolutely nothing to your non-existent sperm count. The fact that I removed all the healthcare is starting to come around because now there's just plagues everywhere. Like, legit, it's, it's actually the plague. Oh, and cholera. You can't forget about the plague's little sister, cholera. Russia has just created a new space program. I assume they're gonna try and find, like, people they can impregnate in outer space, maybe. Hello? Hi. I'm in a hotel in city center now. Really doesn't look good. The street is full of soldiers. It's really weird every time they use the exact same voice actor for every single appearance that's in this game. Doesn't matter how tiny your island is. You're getting plagued. I was about 150,000 people dead between Canada and hell right now. I like how, like, everything is so bad. What the hell? Oh. I just got executed in the National Square. That's cool. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I like how everything is just in hell and disarray, except for overpopulation. Overpopulation's like, yay. Oh, we've lost about 11 million people so far, and it's only been like two months. I like how the estimated population used to be here, and then it just dropped to the floor. Happiness declines in Malaysia. But why? Uh, so I got bad news. Ottawa is currently on fire. Actually, a lot of Canada stuff is just on fire. Turkey declares war on China. Didn't see that one coming. Japan and Russia, why has everyone gone completely batch crazy? Everyone's like, it's the end of the world anyway. I gotta get those last few kidney punches in. There's plague epidemics everywhere. So the original estimated population for 2100 used to be 11 billion. Uh, it's already down to 8 billion. I'm really hoping that we don't make it this far. Apparently nuclear conflict is up to 108%. <laughs> God, everything's on fire, too. It's like the less fertile you are, the more flammable you are. <laughs> Epidemic, you don't say. Over in the China-Russia conflict, uh, half a million people are currently dead. Slow internet speed, video game distress, prime minister, this is intolerable. It's impossible in this country to participate in eSport competitions because of our low-end connection. People are getting constantly kicked off of MMOs. Jiang with the fact that the world is gonna end in like 50 or 60 years, I really appreciate that your priorities are in check. So it's currently the year 2038. Um, we're down to 5 billion people. The estimated population for 2100 is zero. All right, we're on track to total global collapse. To enter a police station is a little like entering the ant hole. Dozens of policemen running in all directions, almost trampling each other. 
sometimes without clear goals, in search of a task to accomplish. I have done it. I have created world peace because I have effectively killed anyone who could possibly commit any crimes. <laughs> so everyone's been beating the hell out of one another for a long time, and... Japan is invading Australia. I'm not really sure what happened. Japan was just like, oh, we need all of those succulent Australian resources. <laughs> all of the venomous creatures. <laughs> the Canada hell conflict. After the carnage, pain suffered in silence. Two months after the signature of the peace treaty, life is struggling to go back to normal. That's because the entire population of the planet is like one fourth of what it normally is supposed to be. According to medical services, which don't exist anymore, beyond the war wounds, the damage caused by post-traumatic stress will be felt for many decades particularly for the countless children that no one can have. Japan declares war on Turkey. Please tell me this guy's voice actor is going to be- Fellow esteemed citizens, our current situation is critical. I'll Faced bet. with repeated provocations from this rogue state that is- Repeated provocations from Turkey? <laughs> I'm surprised that they're still alive. How much of the world's population is left over there? Uh, y'all ever wonder what China looks like? It's currently all of this. China has taken over all of Russia. Education is overstaffed. Several high school teachers in technical unemployment resume their tasks and finally let the colleagues teach students. I never thought about this, but there's a lot of problems in this world now that the population is slowly dying. I just figured everyone would suffer in silence, but everyone's like, oh, there's nothing for us to do in the school. There's no students left. There's no kids. Happiness declines in Malaysia. I'm surprised there was any happiness to begin with. People haven't had children in like, whatever, 29 years or something. <laughs> medication purchase. There is no medication. Japan declares war on China. China's getting pretty goddamn big. So, uh, um, in the year 2038, all of your anime will now be in Chinese. I just noticed China has been at war for like 38 straight years. The population is 128 million. Wasn't China's population like originally like over like a, a billion and a half? In an interesting turn of events, both Canada and Mexico want to go to hell. Canada declares war on China. How, how are you planning to get here? Oh, hell declares war on China. I guess if there's gonna be one civilization left on the entire planet as everyone eventually dies of old age, hell would be great. I like how after China took over Japan, they just gave up on Australia. China was like coming down here and attempting to fight is the epitome of not worth it. Since the population of the entire planet is getting smaller, the cars are getting smaller. Look at these hideously photoshopped beings. <laughs> so, <laughs> China is now dependent under hell. Malaysia, a ghost country. Chaos, buses, and jam-packed trains. Borders taken over by thousands of families. Such is the surrealist picture of the true exodus that empties the country of its population. How are there jam-packed trains? There's almost no one left in the entire planet. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something right now. There's an article about an 11-year-old. This is not possible. This child is an alien. If um, you look around the world, you're gonna see a couple of fires, but do you know what you don't see right now? Famine. That's because in most places, there's no one left. There's like negative population in the United Kingdom. I don't really know how, but Australia is now a dependent of hell. Hell is uh, running things right into the ground. In all of China and all the things that used to belong to China, the population right now is 13.3 thousand people in all that landmass. Canada is dependent under hell. Mexico is a dependent under hell. I love how this Ad is completely embracing the fact that no one's having children anymore. There's a freaking skeleton here. He's like sterility for life, bitch. <laughs> the person with the most gold-plated stereo equipment wins. I didn't think about this. I took all of the medicine, the doctors away, but these bastards are creating new ways to become clean. Oh, cool. Gangway song was shot at dawn because you know, 
there weren't few enough people on the entire planet as it is. The last gigantic place on the entire planet that owns everything now is hell. And in the entirety of hell in the year 2057, there are 10,000 people left alive. <laughs> Uh, so I got bad news. France is out of the running. They're completely dead. There's no one left. They did not decide to become a dependent under hell. Friday the 27th, during the vicious hell Mexico war, healing is gonna take time because everyone's lost a father or brother. Or son. No one's lost a son. There's no sons left. The youngest person on the entire planet right now is what, like 40 years old? Prime Minister, we have succeeded in perfecting a fragrant fabric the textile. What the sh is this? Who? Who is creating these crowd movements? There's no one left alive. Molecules of perfume are trapped in these fibers and are liberated from their capsules by a radio wave controlled by a manual remote. Do you want to patent it and to render it commercially accessible to the entire world? Who? Like the 30 of the people? Yeah, you know what, fine. This way everyone's dead body can smell like candy apple or whatever. This is awesome. The Hell Malaysia War, the final death toll in the conflict is zero because there's no one left to die. What the hell? I'ma let you finish, but how the hell is there anyone still entitled left in the planet? Everyone should be dead. American pop star Sydney Crush who is notorious for her often drunken appearances in risque outfits, is back in the headlines upon finishing her performance at a benefit concert for orphans of circus workers. She returned to the stage and interrupted the next group, slamming their music and promoting her own album. I like how any orphans that would be left are like 45 years old. I'd like to take a moment to mention that there is a hurricane named Willy Willy Caesar. All right, everyone, since the world is going to hell in a handbasket, there's actually a brand new toothbrush that helps people be less depressed. What it is, is it's a toothbrush that uses special LSD toothpaste to make you forget that the world is ending. So the year is 2060, hell is currently the last bastion of humanity and the current population is 407. Well, I'm sorry, 0.2. I'm trying to figure out like what 0.2% of a 50 year old is. Jesus, there was a friggin' hurricane over here in Jersey. There was one victim. That's like, you know, almost the entire population of the world. So I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is, is that we solved unemployment because everyone has a job now. The bad news is we solved unemployment because everyone's dead. Despite somehow still getting like updates and stuff like that, the world population as of November 1st, 2060 is now absolutely nothing. Every single person is dead. So with no health care, uh, people made it to about 40 almost. We also solved world of hunger. The last guy to eat like a bowl of Apple Jacks was like, oh, this tastes like loneliness. <laughs> All right, we did it. China beat up most of the world. Hell came in and took everything out from under them and then everyone died. 2060, that's as far as we're gonna get unless everyone keeps having sex and having children. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Power and Revolution. Till the next time, stay foxy, much love. <laughs>